Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome to a mod spotlight of mine. Today we're going to be checking out the Dragon Mount mod and you're going to love this one. If any of you have been following my Ether Let's Play you'll have seen this already and I promised I'd do a mod spotlight on it so here it is. This uses the normal uh, dragon egg that you find in the ender once you've defeated the dragon. You can break it with a pick or with your fist or anything and collect it like any other uh, item as you'd expect. So. Once you've got yourself your dragon egg, you just want to put it down anywhere and you've got a few things you can do. You can either just right click it and it will spawn the dragon. So we're going to try that now. And there he is, We're hey, with a very cool new animations. Now we're going to make him sit, hang on a minute, we need to saddle him, put a saddle on him, get him to sit. Come on, sit down. There we go. So he's sat now and he won't go wandering off. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to check him out while he's like this. As you can see, he's got like um, new sprites on his tail, like little spikes. And uh, yeah, he's looking rather handsome. His wings fold up. Let me just change uh, the time of day before the sun goes down. Right then, so what can this bad boy do? As you saw then, you need to put a saddle on him for you to be able to ride him. And of course, with a bone you can make him sit so he doesn't go wandering off, because if he's not sat down he will just wander. Uh, as you can see in my inventory, I've got some glistening melon, blaze powder and some raw pork chops. And I'll show you why you need all these. But first, we're going to show you his flight. So let's hop on. All you do is right click, he automatically stands up. He will face, as you can see his head moves, whichever way you're looking. And that is the same with the flight control. So if we just press the space bar to go up, you can get some awesome animations. We're going to press F5 so you can see properly. And as you can see, wherever I look, he will turn. Okay, this is the hovering animation, so it's, it's just very, very well done. And what we're going to do is press forward, and we're off. So all you need to do is hold down your W button, or your forward button, and look with the mouse to get him to fly. So that's same for flying down and flying up. But you can... Press shift once you're hovering. So space to go up, shift to go down, you know, same button you press to crouch. As you can see, I'm actually crouching there, and that's how you land him. So let's take off again, and we're off. Now, if we hit him with um, right-clicking with some glistening melon, he gets an aura, um, which is like a fire aura, and we're going to show you what this does now. And you can basically burn your way through anything just like the original dragon used to if you ever got into the normal world and it wore off so let's get it back on again there we go and you can just pass through any item no problems and there's his special fire aura now the glaze oh sorry the blaze powder would normally let him breathe fire but in this build as you can see it's been deactivated, and the reason for that is, is because it's quite buggy, unfortunately. Um, so, this is a work in progress. So, you know, hopefully in the future, you will, uh, you'll be able to breathe fire. There is a few videos out there of the old builds where you can breathe fire. Right, so I'm going to show you what happens now when he's on the floor as an egg, and you hit him with a saddle. It'll automatically project you into the sky, so watch this. Up you go, and then he spawns, and you're off. Don't take you don't take any damage. He doesn't take any damage. Now, now they're on the subject of damage. He will take damage, and as you can see, if we um, how are we going to take get him to take some damage? We're going to have to hit him a little bit. Sit down. Let's get ourselves a sword. Uh, there we go. Give him a little whack, and then you can just feed him some raw pork chops and his health will go back up. Let's hit him a couple of times. There you go, as you can see, his health goes right back up again. All you've got to do is look at his head to see his health, like so. Yep. There you go. So there we are. And he's also got a death animation as well, so if he ever comes to um, not being healed, and we'll show you that now. Sorry, Mr. Dragon. We're going to have to kill you off. Oh, he pushed me away. <laughs> and there he goes. Bye bye, Mr. Dragon. Oh, feels sad now. 
So there you are, that is the Dragon Mount mod. I hope you enjoyed that, it's an awesome addition to the game. Um, it's very, very simple to install. All you need is mod loader and the Dragon Mod RAR file. You don't have to install it, you just put it into the mods folder and there it goes, it just works, which is fantastic. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and favourite, leave a comment, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye!